Ah, greetings. Hey there, everyone. How are we doing today? Yo, fits of fat. Did you send me a request, or did you play with me recently? Mm. I didn't see you in my recent players list. Mm. Hey there, Lewis Skinny Apoco X81 Sticky Dog. Wix, greetings, everybody. Um, who wants an invite? Skinny Nicolaj. My battle tag is in chat if you want to send me a request. Make sure you send it on the Europe region so I get it. Michael's You sent it? I don't have it. Did you send it? On the Europe region? If not Put your battle tag in chat so I can send you one. That may be better. If you send it and says there's already a pending one, then you have to. S yeah, put your put your tag in chat. I'll send you a request. If I've ever declined you in the past, it won't go through. It's a bug. It's existed for quite a while. Who's after May? Well, ba Baptiste is next to complete, and then May, and then Farah. But Baptiste is on uh, out on Tuesday, so uh, can't do him yet. Did you accept the... Ah, uh, there you are. All right. Let's see. How am I doing on me time? 118 hours? Did I fix this? I did. Okay, good. Alright, cool. Well, the general strategy with a new hero is running a six stack of people that uh, that are okay with letting me play Baptiste, uh, the new hero. Um, so then I don't have to worry about someone ninjuring the hero. That's generally how it works. I'll 
find the heart just to get a six stack whenever possible. At least while I'm streaming, anyway. My turret! And then failing that, pick the next one on the list. So it'll be Baptiste, mostly Baptiste, and then Le Bit MA sprinkled throughout in the next five weeks, starting on Tuesday. Dan underscore V underscore man 462. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the group. I've already got a bit of blue tech blue tech stuck on my monitor where Baptiste is on the hero select. So I can position my mouse where it needs to be. And just spam click. To get him immediately. Hey there, Zoist. <laughs> I stuck it on the uh, the bevel at the bottom rather than the glass itself. Well, the glass is, cl is plastic. Baptiste is uh, an aqua color. Cyan. He's cyan. Um, let's see. He is this color. Neon blue, basically. Close to that, anyway. So he goes on the rainbow between Symmetra and May, which is perfect for what I'm doing right now. When does this happen? Tonight. Okay. <coughs> Less than five hours to more Overwatch League. nothing special they were running in Korean today Saving that one. I think that's five. With help, of course. We're on the uh we're we're using the MLG Pro language today. <laughs> um, do you have paint.net, Micus? Because I can send you my uh my order document. My Rembo document. If not, I can just uh, screenshot it quickly for you. Paint.net is a free uh, image editor program. I use a mixture of that and GIMP, depending on my needs. Oh dear me. I think I've got a, just a smidge of a cold, but only a smidge. Hold on, I'll, uh, I'll screenshot it because it's tons of different layers. Mm. 
너를 믿고 있어요. Yeah, I can put it on the uh, in the um. Oh, I've already uploaded it to. Uh, no, that's the old one. I have a new one. All right, here you go. This is uh, this is an image link to it. Sticky dog, do you want to create that into a command? A rainbow command, which I can update every time there's a new hero. Although that's already got Baptiste in it. So that's good. That would make it easier in the future. Close all the windows I opened. As usual, you uh, gave me the idea of creating it into a command so it's easier next time someone else. You've, uh, you've helped now. Oh yeah, just exclamation mark rainbow will do fine for the command name. All right, did that video upload properly? The 14th. The thir did the 13th go up? Did the 14th go up? I've been having problems lately with my Twitch exports actually successfully managing to upload. It looks like... Yeah, it looks like both the 13th and the 14th went up. That's good. Um, they're in the wrong order though, so I'll have to reorder them in the playlist. Okay, nice. Thanks, Sticky Doll. That one will be Symmetra. Do the thumbnail. Alright. Career rainbow. Oops. Ah, you can change that. Career profile. Now, I read profile for some reason, even though it doesn't say that. <laughs> Easy enough to fix. Alright. Oh, the subtitles. Oh, good point. I haven't started them. Whoop. Okay. There we go. Thanks, Sticky Dog. <laughs> I I re managed to revive the window because it crashed. It it was a bit sort of a bit extra broken uh, before the stream. But I forgot to click the button to make it start. <laughs> yeah, the box is a bit of a giveaway. It's 10% opacity black. Uh, image. It's still very noticeable if you haven't got anything there. Ow. 
try this again. Yeah, subtitles. That's not what I said at all. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's not doing very well today on on the accuracy. Oh well. Hey, come back, widow. I'm sure there are some people on Twitch that uh, that appreciate closed captions. So put it on there. There's a tag for it, and there are people that are hard of hearing or or like to have the stream muted every now and then, but appreciate a way of still following what's going on. It's one of those things that I can do, so I might as well, you know? It's free. It doesn't cost me anything. And it helps people out, so why not? Sure, it takes up a bit of the stream in terms of uh, what's going on, but uh, that area of the screen isn't used too much, so I might as well put some titles there. Yeah, did it. Well, no. Since Agatos doesn't play anymore. Yeah, he's um, a bad. Uh, he may or may not have been banned at, at some point or another. I don't know. Maybe that's why he's not playing anymore. He did come back for Bastet Challenge for like one level and then stopped again. It is very curious as to why he came back to like one level and then went away again. We know he did a bit of the Bastet challenge because he ended up with the Bastet player icon. So he must have done quick play arcade or comp in some variety or other. We want to get that. But maybe he played a little bit and realized, oh, actually, I'm not really that into this game. I was just farming just because I just wasn't that enthused about it. So he went back to whatever game he was playing. That's my theory anyway. Now he, he was completely unable to AFK farm. The only motivation that he had was gone because he couldn't AFK farm anymore. <laughs> Don't I feel bad for completely freezing my enemies now? Of course not. <laughs> Pulling him down a bit. Chill out. Hey, chill out. <laughs> hey, 
Hey there, just new. My dog. Thank you, Miss Ma Massey Eck underscore. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Grove. It's all subjective there, Avocado. It entirely depends on what hero you're playing as to which heroes are more annoying. Because if you counter a hero easily that's usually annoying, then it's they're not really annoying, they're just someone you kill a lot. So if you're playing Winston and there's a Genji jumping about, you can just hold left click and they're not a problem. But if you're playing a hero that I have to aim a lot and there's Genji jumping about, that's a lot more frustrating. So to say that Overwatch shouldn't have any annoying enemies means that Overwatch shouldn't have any, any heroes at all, right? Because every hero is annoying in one way or another to one hero or another. You can, you can counter Mei very easily. Mei is a short range hero. She has one long range attack about that's it. You can just shoot Mei, Mei from afar and she's dead. And there's a lot of heroes that counter her freeze as well. Arisa can just fortify, completely ignoring her freeze entirely. Um, Zarya can just bubble someone who's getting frozen and they're not frozen anymore. There's a ton of stuff you can do against Mei. I'm done with the rainbow. The rainbow uh, is gonna be 250 hours of quick play on everybody and uh, once I'm done with that I'm gonna be doing all modes again to 333 because I messed up 300. So I'm gonna boost them all up to 333 and then once I'm done with that I'll probably just focus on May set an absurd target for hours on May and go for that. No, oh, no! I'm going left. I'll put a wall there, and then put this down here, and then please this mercy. Oh no! Come on, shoot them while they're frozen! Genji, why are you trying to 1v1 a Moira? 
That's not gonna work. <laughs> Teresa. Get him, Build a guitar. It's an interesting perch. Just on the edge of the ledge there. Ooh. Wah. Is it me or do the kill do the uh, like death cams break a lot more than they used to in terms of clipping through walls? I've noticed that a lot recently. Where the like corpse cam will just clip through walls. I don't know whether that's a new thing, because I very rarely saw it until recently um one of the latest patches i think just broke it it's not every time but it's pretty frequent i find several once or twice an hour i find at least this isn't like Call of Duty or something like that. It's a team-based game. It always has been. It's not a game where you can just rambo your way through the enemy. If you don't like the team-based gameplay, then it's not for you. Sure, mechanics are important. Uh, being able to uh, have mechanical skill is an important part of being good at Overwatch, but it's not the only thing. Teamwork is, is a big part of it. <laughs> and with teamwork comes tactic, right? Tactics are a part of teamwork in terms of combating the other team. You need to work tactically in order to make the most of uh, your own advantages and make the most of the team um, opposing team's weaknesses mechanical skill is important and saying as uh, saying it's not is uh, just a complete load of bollocks Because if you're bad at aiming, you're not going to do. You're, you're not going to be a pro. You might be excellent at teamwork, but if you can't aim for shit, you're not going to. You're not going to do well. You have to actually hit your shots. So everyone has to pull their own weight. So, uh, Brigitte has her whip shot, which is aimed. Um, Reinhardt has his fire strike, which is aimed. 
They do have aiming elements to them, despite them being melee heroes. And it's not just it's not just weapon based aid. There's also movement as well, positioning. Um, for Winston, for example, you have to know exactly how to jump properly to go where you go want to go. You want to be jumping precisely to land exactly where you want to. It requires pushing buttons on the keyboard, which is mechanical, right? It requires you interacting, not thinking, right? So it's mechanical skill. These turrets died. Don't know where they were though. Sim might have been uh, throwing them around. My ult just destroyed them. Sure, Brigitte has a very uh, a much lower um, skill ceiling than some heroes, but there's still a range in there, right? There's a big difference between a bad Brigitte and a good Brigitte, right? Reaper doesn't require mechanical skill. You still have to aim with him. How do you find how do you define mechanical skill? Because I think we've got different definitions. <laughs> the aim is very different to Brig. Brig is a very wide sweep. Reaper is a, is like a circle on the screen, not like a big cone in front of him. There's a very big difference. And Reaper requires aim. <laughs> if you're bad with Reaper, you're gonna only get body shots that just miss entirely, right? You still need to aim at their face to do maximum damage. And when they're moving around a lot, you're going to need to move with them in order to shoot them properly. It's still mechanical skill. Oh, thanks, Martin. The background is from Eco Point Antarctica. Dr. Cecil, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Grove.
No way, Sim. May is fun to play, yeah. She's my favorite hero. Gotcha. So uh, just out out sniped that, that widow there. Ah, oh, Platin underscore underscore Martin. Thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub. I appreciate you using your free months of Twitch subbing this month on me. Thank you very much. What? Go away. Supreme legendary. Nice. Creeping towards that maximum uh, maximum border there on my stream, sticky dog. Not too much more now. <laughs> It'll be ultimate next after Supreme. So you need to work through a few more stars to get to ultimate legendary. And then work through that and then to get to the final border. Well, technically not the final one, but it's the one you'll be stuck with for quite a while before getting to the next stage. that reaper ulting I think so oh right in the face again out sniping widow perfect Unconditional happiness. I haven't seen you around in a while. How you been? Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Yeah, the subtitles are great. <laughs> 69 healing.
ブッサンフローティングスノーマン。あ、it landed on the water。Hmm. <laughs> oh. Oh no. That's Sebastian. Hello, punch. No punch. That was a bit of a waste. He said a altered a soldier with like two HP. What's the point? Uh, with legendary, I'll give it a good go myself. And if I fail, then I'll uh, usually hire hire professional help. Um. I've done that several times, where I've just struggled to do it myself. So I've just hired some、uh, like top 500 to boost me through it, because I'm not going to miss the opportunity to get those achievements. Oh no! Stop that! Yeah, I expect we will get another chance for those people who weren't able to get those skins to get them at some point again. But、uh, there's no guarantee of that. It would be nice for them to do that, but、uh, they might not. Just like they're not going to re-release、uh, Noir Widowmaker、um, skin, although they might do at some point. There might be ways of getting these unobtainable skins in the future. Maybe,、um, maybe they could sort of have a special loot box that you could earn,、um, like a very rare type of loot box that you only get very occasionally, which will contain unobtainable skins、um, when they drop legendaries or something. I don't know.
We can certainly give it a go, Sticky Dog. The legendary difficulty can be done with a well-coordinated group. That's all you need, generally. Um, the problem is, usually, there's at least one person on the team that keeps messing up and th and ended up ends up failing the mission again and again. <laughs> Almost every time. So without a well-coordinated team, you just mess up all the time. Um, I remember with Retribution last year, uh, we managed to, after many attempts, um, do the expert mode with no one dying. Uh, that took a lot of doing, but we coordinated well enough and practiced well enough to actually manage to do it. So uh, it'd be interesting to see what we get with this new um, this new archives event that may or may not feature Bap Baptiste and a few other uh, Talon members. I think it is. Because I think there, there's a tal it'll be a talent mission because of the, there was a leak that may or may not be uh, legit. That had a screenshot of an achievement with what looked like four talent members in it. So that may be what we get. But we'll have to wait until the 9th of April to see for sure. Or maybe shortly before that if we get achieved on the PTR. Hey there, Dylan. Oh no. So if I if I summon my my s snowman off the edge of the station place and then the train hits it, how far would the snow go? <laughs> I don't know whether that I can get my, the train to hit my snowman. Hold on. Let's summon my snowman. Hey, don't do it. Don't do it. I'm summoning my snowman. Oh, no. My, no, you punched my snowman. Oh, and the train just went past. You book some tattoo sessions the 2nd and 3rd of April. So you're getting it done before. Hmm. We play Doom Fist or Sabra. Yeah. Well, there'll be an achievement for playing all four of them. But, um, as for our more serious attempts. Ah, oh, not close enough. I wanted the train to hit the snowman. Might be possible if I get on my wall and do the emote. I'd fall down to my death, possibly, but. It would be amusing nonetheless. I want to try it. Oh, I want to try it. Hold on. <laughs> well. It took us both out. Gonna take up to 10 sessions. Do you have time there? Before the uh, the date at the end of next month. On the point. Nice. Is that a good idea to sort of do half now and half later? Wouldn't it be better to do it all at once? Healthy racy major. Oh. 
Joram, Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> I need time in between for healing anyway. Okay. Yeah, it looks like looks like a good idea. Should turn out pretty good. As long as the artist is good enough. That's a danger you play with uh, these things. But uh, yeah, just have to be careful with who you select. So Twitch um, unlocked another emote slot for a, every affiliate um, that has 25 or more sub points, which is me. Uh, so another emote has been submitted and we should get that available probably within a week. I expect sometime next week it should be approved and be ready for use. The reflection on my gun is incorrect. It seems to suggest I'm outside, but I'm not. Four fifty a session, wow. That's a big investment. You have to make sure it's the right right one. Right in the face. Yeah, just slow her down enough to aim a bit easier. Eyes to the eyes. <laughs> I suppose that kind of works, doesn't it, eh? Eyes to the eyes. <laughs> yeah, indeed. The younger you are, the better investment it is. As long as you actually don't grow out of it and decide, oh, I don't like this anymore. That's the danger with a tattoo. If you don't like it anymore, it's going to cost more to uh, change your mind, basically. You have to get rid of it and that costs money too. I think th for me the only uh, good idea for a tattoo is If I end up having kids, which is the plan, I might get tattoos of my kids' names. I think that's a very safe one, right? Because uh, there's a lot of people that would advise against getting tattoos of your partner, right? 
But getting tattoos of your kids, that's a very safe bet, right? Because they will always be your kids. <laughs> Ah, good practice though, Max. Good practice for tomorrow. Hold on, I need to shoot you in the face. There we go. Took a few attempts, but got there in the end. Ah! No! You think you always will. That's the problem, you might not eventually. You don't know. That's the thing. The best tattoos are the ones that will always be relevant. And tattoos of like your kids' names or whatever will always be relevant. Because one, it's part of your own personal history. And two, they get kids, right? So you created them with help. So they will always be part of part of your past part of who you are, an important part of your life, presumably. Um, so I think, uh, I think that's the safest bet in terms of tattoos. Okay, see you in a bit, Max. That's the old one. That's the new one. Okay, good. Let's see. What did I love when I was 10 years ago that I still love now? Star Trek, I guess. That's That's been a part of my life for a long time. My dad got me into that when I was young. I still love it. Uh, there aren't many people who get tattoos that are food related. It's usually a different subject other than food. Food is always relevant, yeah. So if I were to get a tattoo of cheese, for example, I'm sure that would work be fine because I always like cheese. <laughs> Your dad showed you Lord of the Rings. Nice. I'm peppering my soup. This may take a while. It is, it's not coming out very fast. And I like a lot of it. Oh, well, I give up. There's enough in there now. Yeah, it, it, it will always have some relevance. It's whether it will continue ha to have significant relevance to you and um, what you like. That's a real question. But I think it's a fairly safe bet. What's a daisy? Messed that up.
So I get hit. Get hit in the face. Oh, I leveled up. Level up. Well, it went out. I think um, there is another category of tattoos that are fairly safe bets, and that's tattoos that complement or enhance existing um, permanent marks on your skin, like, like scars or birthmarks or something like that, right? You can enhance those things with tattoos, right? Make them into something interesting. I think those are fairly safe bets. <laughs> Turning, um, Turning floors into artwork. That's a, yeah. Uh, that's a really good use of tattoos, I find. I see some really good examples of that. No, stop that! Aww. turn them into something cool I think that's a good way of of getting over um, if you're very self-conscious about um, some flaws of your body making them into a cool tattoo is a good way of uh, getting over that uh, insecurity I think that's an excellent way of doing it so they can be functionally useful in that regard. to do that other time. <laughs> but I messed it up. Oh, goodbye. Freeze! Don't move! 
You know what Oh, come on, minute left. Freeze him, yeah, no more ult for you. Hey there, Mosha. How are you doing this morning? Are you feeling any better? Let me go around. I haven't, I haven't got time to heal up. Oof! Don't have enough time to get there. Oh well. Someone knocked on your door and wake you up. He didn't get to the door in time. Oh. Perhaps that was all they were trying to do, just wake you up. Knock, knock, it's wake up time. Oh, but you can have a lot of fun with those people. <laughs> Not the only way to wake you up. Mm. There's all kinds of ways you can tear into their, uh, into their beliefs with logic. Point out the logic, in logical inconsistencies in their beliefs, just by asking questions.
I think I, I th find in terms of um, Christianity and related religions, the best uh, the best tool to use to um, against them is the Bible itself, because the Bible has so many um, so many contradictions in it. You can prove anyone wrong with just the Bible. <laughs> You can prove all their beliefs just completely wrong. You just find a passage in the Bible that contradicts what they're saying and boom, there you go. Because there's contradictions to almost everything in there. All that, and most of their core beliefs can be proven wrong with just the Bible. There's a great website I found a while back called Bibviz, which uh, is a big directory of um, all the, all, like every subject the Bible has and all the contradictions that those subjects have, right? So all um, that it'll it'll have a statement and then all the verses that agree and disagree with that statement. It depends on who you talk to, Molsha. There are some people who say everything in the Bible is literally true. And those people clearly haven't read the Bible. Because <laughs> there's so many contradictions in there, that cannot be true in any way. Even if some of it was true, not all of it could be true because it would contradict with itself. It wouldn't make any sense. For example, in the Bible, um, it both says there is only one God and uh, also there are lots of gods. It says both. Sure, the lots of gods thing is mostly in the Old Testament. Um, when basically lots of different tribes had their own gods and they were sort of fighting for their gods. They, they that were uh, in control of what they were doing and stuff. Um, and then the Bible is also for and against homosexuality. It's uh, all sorts of things. I mean, one of the things I never see brought up by these people who condemn homosexuality is the fact that King David had a a male lover for a long time Benjamin they were lovers they never mentioned that a big a big um, a big character in the Old Testament was homosexual and very well documented in the Bible and yet they never bring that up for some reason Yeah, the closed captions are automatically, are automatic. Do I ever use my abilities? Yeah, occasionally. I oh, know I got knocked off. I didn't even trigger overtime. That's rude. Most of the time, no. <laughs> In fact, I heard that the passage in Leviticus that says if a man lays with another 
it's an abomination. They're referring to um, boys, not men. Basically children. It's a condemnation event pedophilia, not homosexuality. And it ended up because um, the original was mistranslated essentially so it ended up being changed from uh, young men Good to just men same time even even ignoring that fact there are more rules in the Bible um, against uh, having unbalanced scales than homosexuality so it's more of a crime according to the Bible to not have perfectly balanced scales than to lie with another man in a sexual way And you don't hear of anyone complaining about uh, unbalanced scales at all. <laughs> because in the end, the um, it, it makes sense, right? You don't want to have imbalanced scales because that means you're trying to cheat people. Um, because if you want to sell a, a certain amount of a certain item you need to balance it you need to um, weigh that properly so they know they're getting exactly what they're paid for but if you've biased the scales in your favor so you're actually giving out less than it appears you are then you're basically cheating people out of product and that's why there's a lot of rules in the bible about balanced scales so you're actually um being fair in in your trading activities, right? Uh, it's all about being fair in commerce. That's you know, what those rules are about. Which makes a lot of sense, and is fair enough, right? That makes sense. So if you're found cheating in, in trade back in the day, you could get very harsh penalties, which makes sense. A lot of the rules in the Bible made a lot of sense in a historical context. So when something was banned, it was for a good reason, even if it doesn't make sense anymore. Back then, it, they all had good reasons. So rules against eating shellfish, for example, seafood, would have probably been for health and safety reasons. A ban against mixed fabrics was probably due to some some people cheating the system and, and um, creating subpar products with uh, um, non-standard um, materials, perhaps. You know, the, it was all it was all um, sensible stuff within historical context. And as I said, the rule um, in the same book, Leviticus, against a man lying with another, the way he does with a woman, was against paedophilia, which is a rule still in existence today. And uh, understandably so, justifiably so. Um, but translation areas creeped in and made it uh, appear to be against homosexuality, when in fact it's not. Um, there's very little said in the Bible about homosexuality. There's nothing at all. Jesus himself in the Bible 
never said anything about homosexuality. In fact, there's some um, verses in the Bible that suggest uh, he was um, involved with one of his disciples. Which is something that's also never brought up uh, in these uh, discussions. Um, of people condemning homosexuality. The fact that Jesus himself may have uh, partaken uh, in in those kind of acts. <laughs> Most people would get very offended if you suggested that to them. But they clearly haven't read that, that stuff and thought about it enough. Oh no, my aunt. See what's around here. Yeah. Okay, time to kill the eraser again. No, oh, no, oh, 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 oh. oh, no. No, Kill the eraser again. Hello. No, don't rising up a cut my face. Get out of here, don't fist it. Yeah, did it.
and ham soup <sighs> tasty with a generous portion of uh, white pepper in it Who's that? Who's that? Is that Tracer? If that's Tracer, I can kill her in one shot. No, it's, it's uh, Symmetra. Oh, there we go, two shots. Ah, I missed my opportunity. Punch! Oh, nice. <laughs> How about being dead? There we go. Oh, thanks. I'll take that health pack. Oh, let's keep them back for a bit. That's usually a good idea. There we go. Took care of that Anna. Right, oh, Arissa's dead as well. Things are going quite well. Whoa, out there. 
Oh no, I'm dead. Rip. <laughs> oh god. Killed the limbs. Come on, get on that. Get on that objective. Oh, it looks like the match is gonna last longer. Unless I can stop it. Ooh. Oh, poopy. No. Oh. Move. It's a bit stuck. Ah, oh, that moved it. Okay, good. What happens if I put a wall against these? Do it, does it affect them? No. All right. Uh, now they fell into the wall. All right. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> Just freeze them so they can't do much. <laughs> Yeah. Chad is quiet today. At least at the moment, anyway. Yeah. Just wait here for the moment. <laughs> Bobby dead. Bobby dead. Bobby dead. Bobby dead. Bobby dead. Bobby dead. Take care of that as well. There we go. Nice. What was that? That was that. Yeah. Okay. No, don't be silly. <laughs> yeah, did it. <laughs> Go 
up to be. Oh. That's level four. That choice did pretty good. Wait, was that 19 limbs gold? How is 18 bronze then? What the fuck? Doesn't make any sense. Oh yeah, I wanted to check where I ended up with games one with Symmetra. Yeah, fourth. Only three games more than Mercy though, so quite close really. Quite close. I do wonder how far up May will end up. That'll be interesting to see, huh? See whether I can exceed my Symmetra wins with my uh, May wins. I'm guessing yes. I'm guessing May will be probably second or third or... Second or third, yeah. There is a chance, however, that I end up getting May first on games one. She will eventually be there, of course. Hey. Yeah, I guess we'll find out. But we won't find out until May, uh, since uh, since Baptiste requires the whole, the rest of um, the rest of March, starting Tuesday, and the whole of April, basically. Uh, to complete so uh, it will certainly take a while to get him done but once he is then um, I'll be doing May for a good chunk of May is your mother bringing coffee I freeze this more so I can walk on it. Oh, that's scary. Coffee! Freeze the bastion! Woo! That's kind of scary. Is that a mercy I see before me? It's dead now. Oh, yeah. Oh, dead Brigida. Nice. Had to get to spend your birthday with her. Nice. Oh, can I have this? Hey! Imagine May with a sword. She could freeze her enemies and then shatter them with the sword. <laughs> Slice through their frozen bodies with the sword. Oh no! Yeah! Oh, 
It is a bastion! I hate my food one at one to ten. Mm. Well, it was, uh, it was pea and ham soup with pepper, because I added pepper, I like pepper. Uh, with, with some cheese and bread. That was good. It was probably a 7 out of 10. Then I had some fruit, pineapple, grapes, blackberries. Yeah, blackberries. Uh, and uh, uh, apricot yogurt. So that was good too. Mm. Yeah, you can play with me if you want. Do I have you on my friends list? Yo, okay. Just uh, just whisper me when you're ready, and I'll invite you. Yeah. Breeze, don't move. I'm just gonna build a snowman. Do you wanna build a snowman? Why did they, didn't they want me to build a snowman? Hold on. I'm gonna build a snowman over here. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Uh, Rosie's still got a lot of snow where she is because she lives in Michigan, and Michigan gets a lot of snow. <laughs> so she managed to bang her knee real hard. Um, the other day because she slipped over as soon as she went outside. I should bang any up quite bad. <clears throat> Oi. And then uh, I think then was it the same day or the next day she managed to bang her other knee. But they both ended up bleeding a bit. <laughs> they bandaged both knees. Oi. Ow. Not good. Stop that! Oh. Gold damages Lucia. Oh, okay, I got three golds. I don't have a gold in healing now. Or any medal in healing. Go oh, away. I don't have any medal in healing, is curious. Oh no! Guess I'll go this way. Ow! Well, that should have helped clear the point. Oh, it did. 
Nice. That's a good point clearing ultimate, that one. Because it's nice and big. They can either stay in and get frozen or stay out and off the point. Hmm. Nice. Yeah, three gold medals. I got bronze damage in the end. Oh yeah, I was going to open 10 loot boxes, wasn't I, and equip the uh, contents. Let's do that while I uh, while it's in my mind. So I'm going to go from 24 to 14 and equip everything inside. Apart from layer icons, actually. Oh no, they're all black in colour. Oh well. No, they're not. Alright, thumbs up. Siberian. I. I want to hug you like a big si fuzzy Siberian bear. Oh. Uh, for three of those, he's like aiming right, and for one, he's not. So let's change that odd one out. Um. Justice. This is your super mystery loot equip that you ordered yesterday, Militia. Same theme, different angle, I suppose. And uh, do that. Ooh, legendary. Jester. Uh, mine. Oh, that one there. Yeah, I can show my hero gallery. It's not very exciting, though. Because I'm missing almost everyone's golden gun, and that's it. Um. Three more of these. learn my experience secrets check out my uh, XP video I go into detail about the XP system and how to get the most out of it caution all right there we go there's those here's my hero gallery for you, oh cool. <coughs> if I filter everything, then you can see I'm actually missing quite a bit. I uh, I'm missing a lot of skins from Watch League, and I'm also missing quite a few sprays, but they're all competitive. Uh, sprays and that one so uh, <clears throat> I'm actually not got a complete collection May's the most complete out of all of them but still quite a few missing because of the competitive stuff if I turn off competitive 
you can see that uh, it's a lot more complete. The missing ones now are all the Overwatch League skins. And you can see May is only missing the one golden gun, right? If I eliminate commons, then anyone who's entire, entirely complete has every Overwatch League skin. So May has every Overwatch League skin. Everyone else is missing lots. So the filter is actually pretty useful for um, that sort of thing. If we filter everything but legacy, let's do legacy and special. Um, and that's all the special uh, sprays. Nice. And if I just do legacy, you get some sprays and then that's it. So legacy stuff is basically stuff that you'll never be able to get again. Um, so like BlizzCon and Nano and uh, hold on, if I filter out common then we get everyone who has legacy stuff pink Winnemaker has two, Kerrigan and Noir. Uh, and Winston has his BlizzCon skin, right? <clears throat> so there's not a huge amount of legacy stuff. But generally, you shouldn't be able to ever earn these legacy things. This one might be available at some point again in the future. I don't know. It might not be. It really depends if Blizzard want to make it available again. If the breast cancer thing crops up again, they might make it available for a limited time for people who want to. But uh, I don't know. Well, we'll have to see here. I have May's Golden Gun and Sombra's Golden Gun. I think it's worth bringing it back every year. Around that time of year every time. Because um, that makes sense, right? Why not make more money for breast cancer when you can, when it's appropriate? It, it, it just makes sense. So when you give it away, away for once, it would be kind of silly. But, that uh, being said, I think that uh, they should, if they're going to do it every year, they should do a different skin every year. So anyone donating can get something new and encourage, you know, people who've donated before to donate again. Um... But yeah, it would be good um, to to bring back Mercy Pink and then maybe do like Reaper Pink or something. Uh, so people who ha who missed out on Mercy Pink before can buy it again, and buy the new skin in addition, so they could they to be donating twice in the same year. That would be a good idea. Loved on my YouTube. Okay. How much have you played on this map, Olsha? Initially, I wasn't too keen on this map myself because um, it just had a bit of an overload of detail. There was too much going on. But now I'm a lot more used to it. I know it a lot better. That All that detail and all that kind of stuff fades into the background more because I know where to look. I know where to go. Um, I'm, I'm not... So interested in where everything is. 
because I know already. Um, so it's not a, it's not as bad now I've played on it a fair bit. But initially I felt like it was a bit too detailed. Oh, damn it. Well, they all went up. But I still died. Yeah, I did it. May sounds a lot younger with the Korean voice uh, actor. She's supposed to be around my age. Biologically speaking, anyway. <clears throat> We made quick work of that one. Well, they all left. <coughs> Guess we're not going to defend, are we? Probably not. Paris for now. Lucas. Bonjour. Bonjour. I did it. I wonder how compatible it is with languages other than English. Ready? May. 
until Tuesday. Favorite May skin? Probably pajama. Yeah, less than 10,000 views. Also, when I get to 50 subs, I'll, I'll do a giveaway as well. Four subscribers. I don't see why not. Shoot him down, get him dead. Nice. <sighs> Landing here might be a mistake. And again, it might work out. Whoa, what happened? Ah! Aww. I fell through the bridge. that one up. Owie, why you shoot me? Playing in Korean today. But I am playing Mei, who is Chinese, so I suppose it could be a little confusing. I got you, Ash. like a an evil robot face Ow. Aww. Keep pushing f forward too much. That's my problem. I wonder. Up 
that's one way of doing it, I suppose. Nice. Then I add out a few of those. What? Oh. Got a mercy. They got a mercy. I saw a mercy healing that Anna from up there. Where's the mercy gone? Here she is. Now. <laughs> she was hiding. Ah, not good enough, Farah, not good enough. I almost actually got to the payload there. That was a nice concussive blast. That did get. Oh, that's me. Oh, yeah, I see the mercy running up the stairs there. Wondering how she got there. Noise. I need to, um, I need to take a break. It's been just over two hours since I started. So it'd be a good idea to, uh, take a, take a short break. Oh. Mm -hmm. So I'll, uh, I'll be right back in about five minutes. Is what still not allowed to advertise? Sure, I can invite you, but I'm I'm gonna be at AFK for a few minutes. But yeah, you can sit around in the group if you want. Be right back.
Trigger on the broken gun I cannot replace Eye to eye But you still can't see So read my mind Cause worlds don't stand a chance The road Okay, dokie, I have returned. Let's do some games. Let's do some. We back. Who's been naughty? Oh, jeez. Got a pussy in the lap. The cats were outside, but now they're not. It's rather windy today, so they decided against it. May was doing either actually now I'm looking at it. I'm gonna have a look, another look at let's have a look at see what the May is doing here. I was confused about what the Orissa was doing. What's the May doing? Let's see. Looks like she's shooting maybe the Reaper? Yeah. Looks like she was shooting the Reaper. The Orissa is just doing a whole lot of nothing. Just a whole lot of nothing. Very confused. <clears throat> yeah, you have to be careful because cats don't know, won't necessarily avoid stuff they're not supposed to eat. You have to be careful not to expose them to stuff they could eat accidentally and get very ill. So you're hoping Era 31 is a tank, Mosha? We get in July. Does a joke of a tank. He's similar to Winston and Diva, really. More of a uh, more of a harasser than a, than a tank. 
channel. They do have their uses, both of them, in terms of helping the team take damage, but in their own particular ways. No, you shouldn't be this far forward. Look, 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 just leave, leave. Yeah, that's right, just keep them busy here. No, Genji, you almost had it. is important there. Greetings. It actually got Reinhardt right. It confuses me sometimes. Sometimes it will get really, really easy stuff wrong, and then stuff like hero names, it gets perfectly correct. I'm, I really don't know how that works. <laughs> how, how does it know all this stuff? Get out of here. Grandparents are in town. Okay. Ciao for now. You were AFK. Okay, I'll invite you again then. Uh. Oh, yeah, me. Uh. 
Cool. Lütteboxe! Level up. Oh, oh dear. Bam. Come on, please give us game. Let's go. <sighs> yeah, game found. Separate it, but I squished it instead. Oops. Whoa. Oh, come on. Let's kill them. Well, they they're not defending their point very well, are they? Yeah, did it. Nice. Mm. 
No, McCree, no. We saw you coming. No, Messi, no. Starting on Tuesday! Only a few days to go. Let's well, say three days from now. Plus one hour twenty-five minutes, so seventy-three hours twenty-five minutes from now. The new hero will be in the game. It'll be 6 p.m. GMT on Tuesday. Oh no, I actually died. Oh man. That was a team kill. Almost did the whole thing without dying. from here rock and you rock and you rock get out of here and you and you there we go another rock this, this loose as well yeah yeah another rock how many more loose rocks are there around here any of these no this one is right <laughs> Victory. <laughs> Punching rocks around. Mm. Oh, I got a bronze medal. <laughs> Having a sit down. Having a sit down there. That'll do. That'll do. Yes. Yeah. Hey there, Ting Dill. You were the hamster? Okay. Ah, this one here. Let's try to do another good one, huh? Oh, alright, worth a try. Thank you. 
Greetings. Greetings, 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 greetings. Ow. I wonder what happens if I move this over here. Does it work? Does it work? Yeah, that works fine. It works fine if I move it to my right monitor and then when I look at it, I'm looking at it on the stream as well. That works quite nicely. My turret! Thanks, real underscore epics for the follow. Welcome to the Grove. What is that? Hey, real epics. It got the spelling right. Bob. Get it. <laughs> nice. Where did the bastion go? Oh, he's just running around instead. Okay. Hmm. 
Okay, good. Oh, I can change the spoken language. So it uses English United Kingdom instead. Um, oh, that's the one it's using already. It's always saying I'm too quiet. But that's not right at all. All right, let's go. Ice wall coming up. It's interesting to see what it comes up with when I'm not speaking English and just parroting old script voice lines. No, 
How dare you shoot me? Thank you. Oh, Get punched. Yeah, get punched. Rainbow. Yeah, I could show you my profile. Give me a... Let me go hide somewhere. I'll show you. Hide in the corner. So my all modes profile looks like this. And then quick play looks like this. Very similar, just with less hours. Ooh, ugh. Thing. That was supposed to go off and you ate it. in the face. Mm. 
Take that. Cleaned up. <laughs> maximum. Wait. That's a different maximum. <laughs> Little demon, monkey mingus. Top shelf. Yeah, I can show my profile. It's a profile. It's pretty. Uh, 7,089 hours in all, in all modes. 5,626 in quick play. That's my hours in quick play. Greetings. Oops, a daisy. Get out of here, Lucio. This isn't your place. Whoa! Ah, cancelled that too soon. Oops. Oh dear. Oh, that was the wrong orientation. Hmm. 
I'll go around. Whoa! Ah, oh, damn it. You hit my ice block bastion. Stop that. That was weird. That wasn't in the ice block animation. In the ice block. Yeah, I got the Anna. Stop being so tired right now. Just wake up. Ah, it seems to have fallen off again. Oh, thanks for the biddy. My Catholic, my cat Holly? Or is it, is it my cat Holly or my Catholic? So it could be either.
Hey, stop that, Lucio. Why? Kill them! Kill them all! Freeze that bastion. Oh, come on. Well, I got a gold medal at least. But I think I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna call it for today. I'm really tired. Need, need some, need a nap. Yeah, that was pretty good. Just mowing everybody down. Yeah. I gotta I gotta give it a rest. And get some rest. I think that's a good plan. So yeah, I got made to uh, 119 hours today. Um I'm not too bothered about how much progress I get done on May since I'm gonna be doing Baptiste on Tuesday, but the more I get done now the less I have to do after Baptiste. Ah, uh, thanks for the biddy. My cat Holly. So Baptiste on Tuesday evening at 6 p.m. GMT we should get the patch and I'll start him then. But until then it'll be May. Um, I'm gonna send y'all over to better exit today, I think, and then I'll I'll be back tomorrow, uh, Sunday, for some more uh, May, and uh, my turret. <laughs> Hopefully, maybe a little bit longer. We'll see. Giant Dwarf underscore out. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Grove. Ah, oh, mostly correct. But thanks, everyone. I'll see you all soon. See.